welcome back to another week. Joe Aiello here with Bulldog Bob Brown. And Bob, before we get to today's lineup, that big tour in February before and after Valentine's Day, I tell you, it's going to be a good one. The main event featuring Chris Markoff, Shigadna, and El Casey. After those interference repeatedly on Ken Patera, Ken Patera went out, got Scott Norton as his partner. That one, the main event as well. You and that dog collar match against the French Mad Dog, where both of you will be attached with a collar and a 15-foot chain. Well, they're certainly talking about St. Valentine's Massacre. The month of February is certainly going to be exciting. With those two matches alone, you'd have to get your tickets real early because they'll go real, real fast. But as far as today's card, I'm excited about today's program. When you got Carrie Pitbull Brown against Ken Patera, you got Norton against Sheikal Nalkesi. It's got to be fireworks, and I tell you, I'm looking forward to the hour. What more can I say? Let's go up to the ring for all the great action. And if you ask me, I don't think you want to wrestle the French Mad Dog after what you did to his leg. But we will see what happens next week. Wrestling fans, tune in. You're not going to want to miss that dog fight. We'll find out who's going to be the top dog. Will it be Bulldog Bob Brown or the French Mad Dog? Well, there's only one, there's only one Bulldog, and you're listening to him talking. And there's no other Bulldog. The dog moves out of the way, but this Johnny Stark can sure fly in that ring, Bob like he might have put his elbow out because the dog is going right back to work on that arm. Well, I know what Johnny Starr is doing. Johnny Starr is letting him do everything right now. And when the opportunity arrives, Johnny Starr will just turn it all around and beat a puppy dog. That's what I predict. And you know when I predict something, Joe, it usually comes true. All right, we'll have to see what transpires. Wow, did Johnny Starr get up there? Big flying drop kick, Bob, an impressive youngster. What did I just finish telling you? He's got puppy dog on the run now. I can't believe it. Johnny Starr is definitely doing the wrong thing here. He's fighting the Mad Dog, and there's nobody better at fighting than the French Mad Dog. He's going up top. And he lands on the head there, and the dog doesn't know whether he's coming or going, Bob. Oh, uh, I tell you, I like this match. I tell you, he's going to beat puppy dog. That's... Why don't you get it straight, Bob? It's Mad Dog. Mad Dog. M-A-D-D-O-G. Mad Dog, Mad Dog, Puppy Dog A. And Johnny Starr is going to work on that leg of the dog. I don't know if he saw that match between yourself and the psycho and the dog and Bill Cody. But someone must have told him, Bob. I don't know if you clued him in about that leg or not. All I can tell you is Johnny Starr knows what he's doing. And I tell you, he knows that we hurt his leg. And listen, it's only a matter of time before he gives up. Well, he's working over that leg anyway. The French Mad Dog. And the French Mad Dog, he's I mean? trying to regain composure in that leg. And he's putting Johnny Starr to the boot. And that's it. He's raking at the back of the dog. He's scratching. He's like a cat. He's not a puppy dog. He's a cat. And now the referee's not doing nothing about it. The referee should move right in and disqualify. And you want me to wrestle this guy next week? Yeah, well, it sounds like to me the only cat's here you, a scaredy cat, because you don't want to step in the ring with him. And the dog is going to work now, Reagan and Johnny Stars turn this one around. The dog lands that big elbow. This might be all she wrote for Johnny Starr, a two count. And referee Jack Clay dog was in the corner. The referee should have broken up. All I can tell you is, hey, listen, he, he, won, he won an illegal match. He cheated. He scratched like a cat. Hey, let's go to Joe in the ring and talk to the mad dog. Or should I say, the wild cat. Victorious once again here on the WFWA, the French Mad Dog. And, Dog, it's good to have you back after sustaining that serious leg injury. Yes, it is nice to be back. Bulldog Brown, you hurt my leg, but you didn't stop me. I'm going to get back at you, and this time, it ain't going to be the end of it. You're going to get a broken leg, Bulldog Brown. You know, the thing is, Dog, the Bulldog has been ducking you wherever we've been on tour of the WFWA. And this time, promoter Tony Candelo has done it. It will be on television next week, a match between you and the Bulldog. Yes, that's right, folks. The Bulldog is Tiger's no way out. He think he can run away like a little chihuahua, but he cannot do that. He's going to face the French Mad Dog right here in the ring. And I'm going to take care of business myself. You better be there, Brown. All right, the dog fight will take place on this very broad. 
program between the French Mad Dog and Buff and uh, Bulldog Bob Brown. Bulldog Bob Brown, yeah. Big Bad Brown, whatever. Bring him in. The dog is saying it might be the last time you see him on TV, fans, so make sure you tune in. We'll be back with more great wrestling action right after this. because it is one to start. What did he have his uh, handle the metal like to know? Well, why don't we ask him? He's joined us back here at ringside. Bob, I thought you deserved it. I went up to, I went up to talk to my son, Kerry the Pitbull Brown. Can I go up and talk to my own son without some maniac stepping on my hand? Well, you might have to suffer a lot worse when you step into that squared circle in that dog collar match. I'm a little terrified for you and the dog both, believe it or not, Bob. And I'll tell you why, because I've seen one of those matches once before, and I'll tell you, it was a bloodbath. Fans, if you can't stand to see blood, please stay home, because that one is going to be an all-time encounter, and we have it for you right here in the WFWA. Very well said. Right now, your son might have taken your advice. I don't know, but he's going to work with that bottom rope strand. That bottom strand crossing the throat of Ken Patera. I don't know, Bob. Is that what you told him or what? Just told him to go right after him. And a karate thrust to the throat. And Kerry Brown going for that pin. A two count. Introducing Mr. Patera to that turnbuckle, Ken Patera, man, he's been around for a lot of years, a fan favorite wherever he goes, and, and he blocks another one, and another one, Patera has it, lost it all, and a few right hands, and another one, a big elbow, and a whip coming, and here it is, Brown coming back, and that elbow lands right on the chin. And Patera is just incensed now. He's telling Brown to get up. A big knee. These two men are going at it. Two true heavyweights like Cooney and Foreman a couple of weeks back. And oh, big rope line. That one almost leveled your son into next week. And Gary Brown has stepped out of the ring. What's he doing, Bob? I don't know what's happening to Gary. He's, oh, come he's on, Kerry Brown is walking towards the dressing room. Well, listen, I really don't blame him for walking because I tell you what, the referee favorites Ken Patera all night long. I, I don't blame him for walking out either. That's right. I agree with Ken Patera yelling over here. If that's the advice you gave him, the referee has called this one a count out on your son. The winner, the Olympic strongman Ken Patera. I tell you, when you go up there and talk to him, Joe, let me remind you one thing, that Ken, Ken Patera caused all this, and the referee couldn't control this match. You know, wrestling fans, that big tour is just this far away, and Ken Patera, Kerry Brown walked out, father-like son, as far as I'm concerned, but you gotta be thinking about that big tag team match on this tour. It will be you and Scott Flash Norton taking on Chris Markoff and Sheik Adnan L. Casey, and this had to happen too many interferences on their part and I'm telling you right now you've got to be incensed and happy in another way that's right I am I'm gonna tell you something she getting on El Casey and Chris Markoff just like Kerry Von Erich took a pike or Kerry Von Erich whatever it is, Kerry Brown listening to his old man's advice if you get in trouble just take a hike well I'm gonna tell you Adnan and Chris Markoff you're not going to be able to run, and you're not going to be able to hide, because when Scott Norton and Ken Patera get through with you, <laughs> you'll be crawling out of the ring, either that or carted off with assistance. All right, Ken Patera, we're talking about over 1,000 pounds in that tag team match alone. And Kenny, I don't know where you found the Flash. I know he's been a friend of yours for a long time. He must have been happy to come in here and help you out. Like he said, he couldn't hardly wait to get in the ring as my partner when I gave him the news. 
But I'll tell you, here's a man that's six foot three, 385 pounds. He bench presses 798 pounds. Can you imagine what's going to happen in his hands when he gets a hold of you, Adnan, and Chris Markoff? It's going to be a sorry day in your lives. That's what I promise you. All right, wrestling fans, you make sure you get your tickets for that big date because it will be the Olympic strongman Ken Patera tagging up with Scott Flash Norton, taking on Chris Markoff and Sheik Adnan L. Casey. We will want to see you there because it's going to be a night of wrestling action you don't dare want to miss. This man to my left is calling it the St. Valentine's Day Massacre Tour to happen right here and all over Western Canada in the month of February. Carrie Pitbull Brown, you are booked to wrestle Baron Von Raschke. Well, you know what the people say about the Browns? That we're the things that dreams are made of. Now, Mr. Von Raschke, I'm sorry to inform you it's not a dream, it's reality. It's your worst nightmare. When you step in with either one of us, whether it be Bob or myself, you're going to have to give 140% because you know what you're going up against. Von Roschke, I've watched your career mature over the years, and I saw the people you defeated. Well, while I was watching you defeat everybody, I also picked up a few pointers from you. You didn't know who I was, but you will soon know who Pitbull Kerry Brown is. All right, the words of the Pitbull Kerry Brown to do battle with Baron Von Raschke. And a match that I'm looking forward to, and I don't think he is, is that dog collar match. One of the most dangerous matches in all of professional wrestling. And it has been signed, sealed, and delivered. Your lawyers couldn't do anything about it, Bulldog. It will be you against the French Mad Dog attached both with leashes around your neck and a 15-foot chain. Well, it's certainly like a judge and jury when a man's on trial for murder. Why is he on trial for murder? Because they force him in to the situation. Now, why would anybody in their right mind force somebody in to a dog collar match? Fine. Maybe it's fine with the mad dog because he was brought up in that involvement. You know, he's been a criminal all his life. He's been a leather off. Listen, he had a collar around his neck with the big cement block in the penitentiaries across Canada. Now, you go ahead and you put a collar around a bulldog. You know what happens when you get a dog cornered in the corner and you come after him with a chain. What happens? The guy explodes. I'll tell you, I watched the mad dog's career start and I'll tell you one thing. I'll be damned if I'm going to go into any arena without it on my mind. Yes, I know when he started and you want to know something? I know damn well when it's going to end. It's going to end in the month of February. And what else I'm going to find out is when my son is going to take his string of victims right into the month of February and go against the claw himself. Like I told you and like I told the Baron, he's had it easy for some time. But his easy days are all over and the month of February will find out, Mr. Joy, and the local promotion. Like I said, I'm not responsible what happens to the Mad Dog. All right, the words of both. One more thing. I'm not going to take anything away from Germany. Some of the best medical examiners in the world come out of that country. Heed my warning, Von Roschke. All right, the pit bull to take on Baron Von Roschke and Bulldog Bob Brown to battle the French Mad Dog in a dog collar match. Has this dog bitten off more than he can chew? We'll find out. We'll be right back with more great action. And you take a look at his opponent, Sheik Adnan El Casey, and we've got a big tag match coming up in that big tour, but I tell you, it's one-on-one -on -one competition. All of those things are fine and dandy. Got nothing to do with professional wrestling. This is wrestling, not arm wrestling. He can be the strongest man in the world, but he's got to go and show me what he's capable of doing in a professional wrestling ring. And you know what? Wrestling, El Nel Casey is no easy chore. Oh, I have to agree with you there. I mean, he's a main eventer wherever he goes, the Sheik Adnan El Casey. His partner on that big tour for the St. Valentine's Day Massacre Tour. It happens all through February. Bob, you gave it a name that... 
and Sheik Adnan El Casey is asking if that's our idea of a match, Bulldog, but he knows better. We had nothing to do with it. We got to tell it the way it is. Well, I could say I had nothing to do with it, but I don't know about you, Joey. You and that uh, Tony Canelo, you know, I'll tell you. I just can't believe what I see in this ring. El Nal Casey against... Who's that strong man again? Scott Flash. Norton, you know his name. You're just trying to plead ignorance here again. I'll tell you, I can't, I can't believe what we're seeing in that ring. I mean, he's one of the biggest men in professional wrestling. And El Casey going to work right off the bat here on Scott Flash Norton. Well, Norton's had it easy for the last couple of weeks. He's had pushovers. Now he's getting into stiff competition. El Nal Casey is a great athlete. Him and Markov are going to make a great team. I'm surprised Markov is not out here. But the reason why Markov is not out here, he knows he's going to take care of Norton. And Norton might not even be around for the month of February. Well, I want to say a special hello to all the people up there in Wasagamack as well. The Northwest Territories, Oxford House, Cross Lake, God's Lake, Narrows. They've joined the WFWA Wrestling Network, Bob, and they see us every week now. And some of those top stars will be featured on some of those great live cards. They certainly are my great friends up there. Hey, I'm going to go up there and smoke the peace pipe with my great Indian Chiefs. And listen, we're going to have a big party. Of course, there'll be no alcohol. I don't believe in it. We're going to have a good cup of old-fashioned green tea. All right, Bulldog Bob Brown here. Bob, let's talk about some of the other stars that are going to be on that tour. You're talking about a couple of light heavyweights such as Buddy Wayne, even Mike Lazansky, two fan favorites. And how about that Ole Olsen, a newcomer to these parts, a good-looking young man from Seattle, Washington. A few girls a few girls out there on television want to look at some good-looking kids. Get that Buddy Wayne, 20 years old, Lazansky, 19 years old. Hey, they can party all night long. Well, look at the face of Scott Flash Norton. He's not even mesmerized in that big hard head. Mailing Sheik Adnan El Casey. Excedrin headache number 99 for the Sheik. Big power slam coming up. And what's the goal that she gets? A big elbow. Scott Norton has knocked the golden Sheik right out. And that big fool Nelson right now. A trademark of his partner Ken Patera. I think Norton's been disqualified. Get out of here, Bobby. Won the match. Won it. Why would he win this match? They tried to take out Scott Norton before that big tour, but it didn't happen. I'll tell you one thing. Let's go off with Joe, and let's talk to that great team. What does one have to do? Sheik, now you did it. Now you got me mad. You come in, you, you blindside me, you bring that goof bark off in here, and you think you can do something. You got off or over, something over on me, do you? Well, this time when me and Kevin Terry step in the ring with you, it's over. I'm coming, baby. Nothing can stop me. Every time you turn around, you open the closet, I might be there. I'm on you guys. You're mine. I'll tell you, Scotty, what the problem is, you can't turn your back for 10 seconds on these guys. Not even for a second. Luckily, I was backstage here. I'm going to tell you something, Mark, huh? <laughs> You got away with it once with me. You tried it a second time, it didn't work. Well, you tried it on this man, and it didn't work. So what's in store for you two, Gooks? <laughs> we're going to find out. It's just not going to... We're still here. That's right. It's not going to be real nice. It's not going to be real pretty for you guys. All right, the words of Ken Patera and his tag team partner, Scott Flash Norton. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre Tour will continue throughout Western Canada. They are tagged up to take on Chris Markoff and Shigadn on LK. This war must come to an end. Get your tickets now. Ladies and 
gentlemen, the French uh, Mad Dog here with me. Promoter Tony Candelo has done it again. This time, Dog, he's taken things into his own hands and signed a dog collar match, one of the most dangerous matches in all of professional wrestling. Yourself, Vendetta time against Bulldog Bob Brown. Yes, it is, Joe. It's one of the most dangerous matches there is. Because your neck is tied. Bulldog's neck will be tied to my neck. If he tries to run away, I'm going to give a yank. And his neck will go snap, pop, and crackle. Joe, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I'm going to show you what a dark color match is. What color on my neck? What color on dark Bulldog brown neck? And it's no place to go. There's a big chain that holds them back. I love these. This is my type of fighting. This is my type of matches. Bulldog brown. Matches. It is. It is. One snap of the chain, and Bulldog that will go snap, pop, and crack out. All right, that match signed as well. One of the most dangerous matches in all of professional wrestling. 15 feet of steel chain attached to one collar around the dog's neck, the other leash around Bulldog's neck. It's another match you're not going to want to miss on this February spectacular. Get your tickets now, fans. You don't dare want to miss all the great action. This program is brought to you in part by Mario's Italian Pizza. With two Winnipeg locations, you can call 832-2686 or 269-7572. Sergeant Auto Body at 827 Sergeant Avenue or call 783-4481. Dominion Transmission with two Winnipeg locations, 700 Pemina and 309 Logan. Robin's Donuts for the best part of your day. fans and Bulldog let's start from top to bottom some of the biggest names in all of professional wrestling and you talk about four of them Chris Markov, Sheik Adnan, L. Casey on one side of the ring their opponents Ken Patera and Scott Flash Norton well they all four of them have got a lot of things to think about you know it's just a short few days away when all four is going to climb into the ring and they have to prove to the country what they've been talking about for the last two or three weeks who's going to win well I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's going to be Ken Vatera and Norton's downfall. Because I'll tell you, Sheik Al Casey and Chris Markov are two fine, outstanding athletes. And they're well-groomed for this match. And by the time the match takes a place, by the time the bell rings, it should be an exciting evening. But that's not the only thing in the car. There's a lot of things going to happen You're in the right. month of February. You're talking Let's about talk that dog collar match, one of the most dangerous matches in professional wrestling. It should be a bloodbath between you and the French mad dog you try to get out of it and there's no way you can run and hide now because you're on one end of a 15 foot chain and he's on the other end well before you rudely interrupted me i was going to say the same thing it's going to be brutal i'm sure there's going to be a lot of blood spill but i guarantee you it won't be this boy's blood because i'm going to tell you I watched his career start and it's going to end in the month of February. I don't think the mad dog, puppy dog, whatever you want to call it, will be around after the month of February. I'll put him into an early retirement. All right, as well, also signed by promoter Tony Candelo, it will be Bar Baron Von Raschke against your son, the Pitbull, Kerry Brown. Well, of course, we saw a great action hour today. Listen, you saw Kerry Bull carry against uh, Patera, and I thought Kerry just looked good. Patera left the ring, got counted out. It was your son that left the ring wrestling fans we're all out of time for another week hopefully we will see you in your city or town on behalf of bulldog bob brown i'm joy Ello. have yourselves a great week